League of Legends ranked is saved. Potentially. This week, a rioter shared on Reddit some very tentative plans to implement a new rating system for the game designed by Microsoft called True Skill 2. Now, some people think it's going to save everything. Others think it will be a total disaster, but many people seem to have got the wrong idea about what it actually is. So let's clear all of that up. The League of Legends ranked experience is often described as the worst part of the entire game, and complaints about it seem to boil down to the same few issues. Players don't feel it correctly measures their skill, that too many games feel like coin flips depending on your teammates, and that once you start losing more LP for a loss than you gain for a win, you'll essentially be stuck where you are forever. Last week, there was a thread on League subreddit complaining about new accounts being placed too high in ranked. Nothing new there. But on Tuesday this week, Riot Iskar jumped in the replies to share that Riot is planning to move to a new rank system entirely in the near future. He said they'd then be moving to a new system later in the year called True Skill 2. And everyone has pretty much lost their shit at this. So, what exactly is True Skill 2? Well, there's a 24 page document on Microsoft's website that explains it all with painstaking detail, which you should check out if you love complex equations. But here's the more more simple rundown. It's an advanced skill rating system developed by Microsoft, and as you might expect from the two in the name, it's not their first attempt. They developed the original true skill ranking system way back in 2005 for Xbox Live for games ranging from Halo 3 to Forza Motorsport as a way to assess a player's skill and accurately place them on ranked ladders. True Skill 2 was eventually launched in 2018, boasting more accurate and nuanced assessments of players' abilities, and that's the one that Riot are interested in. League of Legends currently uses a modified version of Chess's ELO system that's tailored to accommodate a team-based MOBA game. While the intricate details of this system aren't publicly known, it primarily uses the outcome of a game to determine whether a player gains or loses rating. How much they gain or lose is determined by their matchmaking rating, or MMR, a hidden score that represents the player's skill level. Winning against opponents with a higher MMR or going on long win streaks increases the rating a player gains as the system tries to more accurately place them on the rank ladder. But a key area where True Skill 2 differs is that it can also take into account a broader range of metrics in order to determine how much a player's rating should increase or decrease. In games that use True Skill 2, the system might also look at a player's KDA, their role in the game, or the relative experience of the players they went up against. It then uses those metrics to calculate a fairer assessment of the player's contribution to the game. In practice, a player might lose a game, but because they had a good KDA, they won't lose as much rating as their teammate that absolutely fed their face off. Different games might use different metrics. KDA might be a good one to use for FPS games, where there is a fairly strong correlation between a good KDA and a player's contribution to their team. But that's not necessarily the case with a game like League. You don't have to look much further than the bows to see how a terrible KDA can be irrelevant if you understand the core objective of League of Legends destroy the enemy nexus by any means necessary. Riot could look at other metrics to help them here, such as objective control, kill participation, end game damage, skill shot hit rate, maybe a complex combination of a bunch of things. In any case, it's not like Riot would share the secret metric formula with the player base for fear that players would start playing the game for those specific metrics. Why make a risky play if KDA matters so much more? Why sacrifice your life stopping enemy back so so your team can push? Why let your teammate have that juicy wave when you can farm it to inflate your CS score and protect your rating at the end of the game? You can see how this might quickly result in people just gaming the system instead of, you know, actually playing the game. And this image of a boring hellscape where people only play for KDA has got a lot of people worked up. Some have tried to quell the concerns by suggesting that players protecting their KDA and farming well already correlates with more wins, so it's not like any 
anyone would be gaming the system in a way that goes against League's core design. But there's been an outpouring from those who think the only thing that should matter is whether a player wins or loses, and see True Skill 2 as just a way to soften the blow for players who played well on a losing team. But all of those critics may have gotten ahead of themselves here. Rioter Barack Probama laid out the definitions of different rating systems on Reddit, including True Skill, adding, nothing about True Skill 2 implies that we must use or wait any additional factors outside of a win or loss. That said, we are always looking to improve our accuracy, and if some factor or another was highly predictive, we would experiment with it. He also said that using things like KDA as a metric were not in any way planned, but that they could still do it if it made sense down the line. What he's alluding to here is that although True Skill 2 has been used in other games to weigh up different metrics when assessing a player's performance, that's not necessarily what Riot would use it for with League. True Skill 2 can help in other ways. They may use it to dynamically adjust a player's skill rating after each match based on the system certainty of their skill. The Microsoft paper I mentioned earlier goes into the real nitty gritty of the uncertainty principle, but here's the gist. As a player plays more games, the system can become more confident of their skill level by looking at their consistency, number of games played, and level of competition faced. A player with high uncertainty may experience bigger swings in their rating gains or losses as the system tries to figure out their true skill level. The goal would be to lower their skill uncertainty, which would in turn indicate a more reliable skill rating. Essentially, True Skill 2's aim is to reduce the number of games required to identify a player's true skill. This could help create a more flexible and adaptive system that can more accurately respond to smurfs or trolls, as well as players that are rapidly improving or losing their edge. And all of that could be achieved by True Skill 2 without taking into account other metrics like KDA or Creep Score or any of the other things people have been panicking about. Riot Iskar, the rioter who initially shared the news about True Skill 2, took to Reddit yesterday to quell concerns. They said they love that people are talking about True Skill, but wanted to remind everyone they're still unsure if they'll integrate it into League, and any work to do so has not yet started. They also said that if they did start, it's possible they'd run into a number of issues with it, but that their team will give an update on how it's going later this year. So here's the deal. Riot are looking to overhaul the ranked system. They're going to be bringing in a temporary in-house system in the near future, and then possibly True Skill 2 at a later date. But even if they do, they may not use lots of different metrics like KDA to determine rating gains and losses in ranked. They may simply use it to create a more adaptive, responsive, and ultimately fairer ranked system. And even if they do take other metrics into account, I wouldn't worry about it becoming the league of KDA quite yet because, you know, that would require people to actually get good. Yeah, it is It is funny that, that, that people are like, oh, they're gonna start, people are gonna start playing for KDA. They'll, they'll just suddenly start getting loads of kills and not dying. I'm like, do you know how hard that is for most people? Most people can't do that right now. Oh, now KDA matters. Okay, now I'll start getting loads of kills and stop dying. Okay, now I will.